What is going on, you guys? In today's tutorial, I'll show you how I create my arts using this CRT tool. I've had a lot of requests for this. How are you doing the effect as a roto layer? Well, let me show you my workflow. Let's break it down into three stages. Stage one, rotoscoping. Stage two, our secret weapon, the CRT tool. Stage three, combine the render with the original clip. Okay, we are in Adobe After Effects, and I will start rotoscoping my clip. I'm not gonna show here exactly how to use Rotobrush. If you don't know how to rotoscope, then I'd strongly encourage you to learn it. It is extremely easy to use and you can get amazing results. I will leave in the description a link to cool tutorials and you will be able to watch them. As you can see, instead of rotoscoping the running couple, I separated them into two separate cases. It will be simpler this way and the results will be better. Trust me, I'll put a layer of solid underneath it all it doesn't matter what color, but in this case, it will be green because it's clearly visible. Well, it's time for our hero. It's time to import the CRT tool. Fun fact, you can import any project into another project. Too bad I didn't know this trick earlier. Okay, I will now drag our rotoscope part to the composition called input footage. And maybe I'll trim it to work area. And now I'm going to change the settings in the main composition. Just select the control layer and press F3 on your keyboard. I often use effects such as find edges or curves to enhance details. Sometimes it gives amazing results. Keyframing is also a good idea. It can help you get even better results. Yeah, pretty satisfied with the results. Now I can send and queue it to the media encoder and hit export. Okay, I'll import our fresh render and put it with the original clip into one composition. Let's rename it Combine. Now we have two clips and we just need to change the blending options to screen in our pre-rendered footage. Cool. I'm gonna put some effects on the second clip. Posturize time set to 15 frames per seconds because our render had this value applied. Also black and white preset and curves effect to make it more contrasty. And at the end, to glue it better, I will add grain effect. Okay, that's all for now. Till next time. Cheers, mate.